Hi everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today in Skype for Business, I'm going to show you how to control your presence status. Now let's jump right into Skype for Business so I can show you what I'm talking about. Here in my Skype for Business client, you can see right under my name that there is a little status indicator that says available. If I click on the drop down menu, I can choose from a number of different statuses busy, do not disturb. I can even appear away, even if I'm at my desk. If you don't see that option on your list, it's probably because your administrator has disabled it in order to kind of preserve the usefulness of status indicators because if everyone chose appear away, there wouldn't really be much point of having the status indicator at all. So let me just show you, I click busy and now you can see the little circle next to my image shows as red and I show as busy under my name. Now on people's contacts list, I'm going to show similar to how you see this first contact I have here. Shows the person's name and the status is away. Now, like I already mentioned, your administrator has some control over your options here, but if you go to your gear menu, click tools, and then options, you can configure some options for your status. So I'm gonna to click to the status tab, you have the ability to change the minutes for your status showing you as inactive. So maybe I actually wanna say, wait for 10 minutes before you show me as inactive or idle. And maybe I wanna change that interval for inactive to away also. So basically this is showing that if you're away from your computer for a certain amount of minutes, your status automatically changes to inactive. And if you're inactive for a certain number of minutes, your status automatically changes to away. Now you also have a couple options here you can choose the radio button next to, I want everyone to be able to see my presence regardless of system settings, or I want the system administrator to decide. So this again kind of depends on how your administrator has Skype for Business set up. So if you have more questions about that, contact your IT admin. Now there's also a couple of options in regards to the do not disturb mode. So if you noticed, let's click back over to Skype. You have a do not disturb mode here. Now with do not disturb mode, when somebody sends you an instant message, it doesn't actually come through until your ch status changes, until you're not in do not disturb anymore, unless it's sent by somebody who's part of your work group. So going back to our options menu here really quick, I wanted to point out that you have the option to be shown as do not disturb automatically when you present your desktop or when your monitor is duplicated. And I would personally recommend keeping those boxes checked because that way when you're giving a presentation, it'll automatically put you into do not disturb and you don't have to think about it. Skype for Business also automatically takes care of your status when you're on a call and it shows you as in a conference call. So that gives your contacts an indication that now might not be the best time to send you an instant message. So overall, this presence information can be a really useful way of communicating without actually saying anything to anyone and giving your contacts the ability to judge whether or not now is a good time to send you an instant message. Hope those tips helped. For more tips and tricks like this one in Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.